problem number 2. So, calculate the node voltages in the given circuit. So, ito naman yung ating circuit natin. Ang pagkakaiba nito dun sa previous problem, one is meron tayong dependent uh, source. Ito, current source. When we dependent current source to i sub x, it is dependent sa ating i sub x. What is i sub x? Yung branch current na dadaan from node 1 to 2. And then, we have three nodes. So, 1, 2, 3. So, magkakaroon tayo ng tatlong node voltages. So, we have three equations. Okay, and no node voltages. Okay, i-draw muna natin. Again, i-assign muna natin yung mga node voltages and pati yung mga branch current natin. Okay, so this is V sub 1. Ito, V sub 1 nakalagay naman na. So, ito V sub 2. And then, ito ay V sub 3. Nandun na din yung ating reference node. And after that, maglagay na tayo ng ating mga branch current. So, ito na kanina yung ating branch current na dadaan kay 2 ohm resistor. So, ito na lang. Pangalala natin siyang I sub 1. And then, ito. Kahit huwag na natin pangalanan ito. Yung, yung nakarang problem, nilagyan natin din. Pero ito, kahit huwag na natin pangalanan, diretso na natin yung E3 up here. Okay? So, that is for V sub 1. Ngayon, ano pa? So, I sub X to. So, ayan. Tuntunin mo lang. I sub X yan. Ito naman ay I1 I sub X and then dito I, let's say this is I sub 2 and then I sub 3. Okay. Ito naman I uh, 2I X. Ayan na. Okay. Ito drawin ko lang ulit. 2I sub X. So, ito naman. Ayun. Tutuntunin. I sub Kompleto na ba? Okay, dito sa unang node natin. Ito, IX. So, IX din dito. Kung dito ko titingin. Tapos, so, I1, I1 hanggang doon. And then, ito, 3 ampere. Ito naman, I sub 3. Ito, 2, I sub X. Tapos, ito, I, I sub 2. I sub 2. And then, ito yung ating reference node. Okay, so, clear na tayo. Pwede na tayo mag-apply ng KCL and Ohm's Law. Ayan. So, ito na yung ating circuit. Na-redraw lang ng mas maayos. At node 1, umpisahan natin po ulit sa node 1. At node 1, apply uli ng KCL and KBL. I mean KCL and Ohm's Law. Okay. So, this is our node 1. So, 3, 3 entering, node 1, 3, okay, and then ano pang entering, wala na. So, minus I sub 1, minus I sub X, that is equal to 0, and now for afterwards, palitan natin na Ohm's Law in terms of node voltages. What is I1? Yung I1 natin, okay, yung I1 natin is from V sub 1, papunta V sub 3. Ano yung resistance? 4. Okay, ulitin ko. I1, V sub 1, papuntang V sub 3. Ano yung resistance? 4. So, V sub 1 minus V sub 3 over 4. Minus, okay, I sub X. I sub X natin is, okay, parenthesis, huwag kakalimutan. V1, papuntang V sub 2. Ayan, papuntang V sub 2. Papuntang V sub 2. So, minus V sub 2 over ano yung resistance? Our resistance is 2 equals 0. And then, arrange natin. So, ilipat natin tong dalawang to sa kabila. Magiging positive sila. V sub 1 minus V sub 3 over 4. Ayan, positive. Tapos, ito kapag nilipat mo sa kabila, positive din. So, plus V sub 1 minus V sub 2 over 2. Okay, kapag nilipat mo sa kabila, mariretain ito. So, positive din yung 3 equals 3. Ayan. Kung nilipat mo siyang diretso dito, tapos, ina mo lang. Binaliktad mo lang siya rin. And then, simplify natin by multiplying ano, multiplying no, 4 multiply 4 dun sa ating 
equation, both sides of it, if it's the adding equation. So, V1 minus V3. Nanggal ko na yung parenthesis kasi positive naman yung sinusundan. Okay. Plus, ay, bakit? Kumapal. Plus, V sub 1. Wait na. So, plus, ano yung 4 times, divide 2, 2. So, 2 siya. So, 2 times V sub 1 to V1 minus 2 V sub 2 equals 12. So, tanggayin natin yung parenthesis. Walang mababago sa sign. Yung mga term na nasa loob. Kasi preceded by positive sign. And then, combine like terms. Ito, magkamukha. So, 3 V sub 1. Ano pa? Minus 2 V sub 2. I-arrange nyo na rin in terms of V sub 1, V sub 2, and V sub 3. And then, minus V sub 3 equals 12. So, this is our equation 1. Dalawa pa. Kasi we have 3 anodes, 3 node voltages. So, we should have 3 equations. So, at node 2. Apply KCL and then afterwards KVL. So, nasa yung node 2 natin? Ito. So, entering muna tayo. So, that is I sub X ulit. And then, leaving yung I sub 2 and I sub 3. So, minus I sub 2 minus I sub 3. Wala na na. Equal 0. Palitan ngayon yung mga branch current na Ohm's law in terms of load voltages. What is I sub X? V1 minus V2 over ano yung resistance 2. Minus parenthesis. What is I sub 2? V2 minus V sub 3 over 8. Okay? And then, what is I sub 3? I sub 3 is V sub 2 minus, ano yung isa? Yung ground natin or yung zero potential, kaya minus 0 over yung resistance, which is 4 and equate to 0. Okay. Pagkatapos nyan, simplify na natin. Siyaka natin i-combine yung mga light terms. Multiply na lang natin by 8. So, 8 divided by 2. 4. 4 V1 minus 4 V sub 2. Okay. Minus, okay, parenthesis, V sub 2. Or pwede ko nang tanggalin yung parenthesis. Ayusin na natin yung sign. So, negative V sub 2. Negative times positive. So, negative pa rin yan. V sub 2. 8 divided by 8 is 1. Negative, negative, positive. So, V sub 3. Kasi 8 divided by 8. So, that is 1. Ito yung mga makita lang naman ang mga cancel dyan eh. And then, minus V sub 2. Okay. Pag tinanggal ng parenthesis, minus V sub 2. Minus, minus positive 0, 0 over number 0. So, matitira V2 over 4. So, 8 divided by 4, 2. So, 2 V sub 2 equals 0. Afterwards, combine like terms. So, ito, walang kamukha. So, 4 V sub 1. Yung V sub 2 natin, negative 4. Uh -huh. 4, negative. Tapos, ito 2 at saka 3. Ito ba? Eh. Negative 4. Minus 1, negative 5, minus 2, negative 5, minus 2, negative 7, and then plus V sub 3, equals 0. So, this is our equation 2.